Uh, we met um, in high school, fell in love with her curls. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so I'm like, man, I, I, need, I need to get to know that girl. And so I asked my buddy, I'm like, hey, man, you know, do you know them? And like, yeah, but you don't want to talk to them, man. They go to church and stuff. And so growing up, I, I never went to church. Um, it was either Easter or, or Christmas. It's, it's usually when we went to church. Um, and so when, when we met, it was, it was, it was, uh, we were very different. I was, a, I was a Christian. I mean, I can't remember not going to church. Um, so when I met Juan, it was, he had earrings and, and wore a bandana and my mom was like, no, you stay away from that. <laughs> so that's kind of um, where we were. You know, I just, I, I felt that wasn't where God wanted me. So I tried to stay away from it. But I mean, as you can see, we, we ended up getting married. We ended up getting pregnant with our oldest son. Um, she we were, was, you I were was 16, 16 and, and I was 17. 17. We decided that, hey, we're gonna get married. We didn't have a wedding, um, but we did go to the Justice of the Peace to get married. There was, there was, uh, there was infidelity right, right into when we first got married. Um, I started talking to some of my old girlfriends, um, you know, looking for them and, and just hooking up with them and just calling them or whatever. And so, and so that created a lot of, you know, early on in our marriage, just, just a lot of friction all the time, arguing all the time. Like Juan mentioned from the beginning, it was, it was very difficult. Um, there was um, emotional abuse, um, verbal abuse, it, it was very hard. There was times, I mean, I, I went through depression. Um, I had depression, anxiety. Initially, um, there was no confession in my part. And so what I was, I was basically what I was doing, I was living two lives. We would do the whole, the whole family thing together and make people think like everything was, was fine and dandy. And so like she said, we, we struggled like that for a long time. And, and finally, um, you know, she started praying. You know, I'd come home and I'd open the door and she was praying. And I'd go to work in the mornings and she was praying. And so, I mean, I just couldn't take it anymore. And so finally one day um, I said, okay, you, you need to stop praying. I said, because every time you're praying, like I can't sleep, like, and, and and so what God was doing there was, was God was preparing not only her, you know, he was strengthening her, but it was getting to the point where I was gonna confess to her every, all my infidelity. When I confessed all that to her, I felt like all these bricks just came off of my shoulders. And, you know, it, it was like a relief. It was like, you know, I don't, I don't have to hide anymore. Because of that, I think when we both started to seek God um, wholeheartedly, we began to see changes. Our anniversary was April, April 22nd of this year, 25 years. And um, my sister comes over one day and just says, Clara, the Lord has put this on my heart and I want to do this for you. My husband and I want to do this for you and Juan. Um, she said, we're going to have a small wedding at my house. And, um, and she said, and we want to do, we want to plan everything for y'all. We don't want y'all to do anything. We don't want y'all to pay for anything. We want to do it for y'all. Looked at each other like, okay you know and and it was it was perfect i mean I, we wanted just christ to be the one that was reflected at that wedding i didn't want people to look at me and say oh clara looks beautiful oh i love her dress. no i wanted people to see the lord's faithfulness and the yeah. lord's goodness you know it was all for his glory but she did look beautiful in that dress <laughs> I believe our marriage has been redeemed.
and restored by his grace.